In high tech and industrial sectors, even a slight deviation in the standards, say a degree in cold storage temperature or even a millimeter in a machine calibration can disrupt operations. So imagine, additionally to that, what happens when you add another whole layer of potential problems coming from the construction element of it. At a very basic level, a construction project is defined by a bunch of different contractors, suppliers, management teams. Take into account, some of these will come, some of these will go, and each one of them is adhering to different standards. All of them might have different understanding on their roles and responsibilities, the way we're communicating, their contractual obligations, and even their deadlines. So now consider, on top of that, the added need for things like advanced robotics and even temperature compliant units. So all this technology which must be planned and integrated faultlessly into the built environment. Expertise needs to be present. So this basically means you will need more people on your site. Without forgetting that at the same time, the builds and equipment themselves, they have to be delivered to the exacting standards. Think of all of these as just more layers that add pressure to get everything right with obviously more risk of things going wrong. Precision at this level of complexity means that everything must work together. The technology needs to integrate with the environment, but on top of that, the site team needs to be collaborating as one. This means we need to be able to pull the weight accurately at the right place and time to move the project forward. In order to do this, we need to ensure this level of precision by basically tracking and managing absolutely every single detail. So we achieve this by being as meticulous as possible in our approach at every single project level. For these things like ensuring that everybody has access to the tools, they need actually to make their job much better and make sure that they understand deadlines, interfaces, and make ready needs among others. For that, obviously we need to bring the brightest people in the industry. With all that being said, there's not a single doubt about the schedule having to become a centerpiece for managing your project. In order to achieve the perfect plan, we need to get to a point where the plan actually serves its purpose, which means it's deeply valued by the project managers we work with. So that means providing the right structure, detail and visibility, which must be adaptable throughout the project phase. We can't forget that reports are meant to support and help people to do their job better and faster. And for that, the data needs to come from as close to the work phase as possible. When we're talking about these type of projects, the level of complexity is so high that Digitization is not an option anymore. It's, it's a must and everything needs to come from the same place. Being able to select the right tool for the right job and for the right person is crucial to ensure that that person own its responsibilities. Once all that is ready, that will help us to provide clarity, visibility and regular updates which allows us to make interventions at the right time to either eliminate or minimize those risks. In such big and complex projects, with so many people involved, one single person, one single supplier can delay the entire project. For us, it is imperative to have the right standards that goes from quality and compliance, that define best practices, and even have a clear definition of roles and responsibilities. But to ensure these are adopted and followed, we must evaluate every contractor before they step on site and only select those who really see the value that this brings. This builds a site team that's genuinely invested in the project from the start. The high-tech and industrial sector is renowned for research and development, leading to breakthroughs that can push the boundaries of what can be achieved by science and technology. At the same time, everything is so tightly controlled. So how do you balance these different things? You start by building an environment that incorporates the need for both cutting-edge technology and precise control. And you do that by choosing to work with people who not just understand this, but also can deliver it. People who know that the difference of a degree in temperature or a millimeter matter, because it also matters to them. Construction people who've learned over the course of more than $12 billion in completed facilities how things should really be done in our industry, so you can find better ways of doing what you do too.